from the primitive jawed fishes, the early nathostone fishes, evolved a group known as the osteichthians, which possessed more and more bone. These were the ancestors of the majority of fish alive today, and also the vertebrates which live on land. The early Osteichthians divided into two lineages very close to their origin, the ray fin or actinopterygian fish, whose fins are made of cartilaginous rays moved by muscles in the body wall. These make up the majority of fish alive today. And the sarcopterygian uh, fish, uh, these had bones in their fins, and the muscles in their fins were those responsible for moving the fins. The sarcopterygian fish evolved a number of uh, lineages in the fossil record and include three lineages alive today. The crown group of tetrapods, the amphibians, reptiles, mammals, and birds of today. The six modern species of lungfish, and the two species of coelacanth, which diverged uh, from the base of the Sarcopterygian lineage before the offshoot of lungfish. So while coelacanths and lungfish are more closely related to tetrapods than to any other fish, uh, the coelacanths are less closely related to the tetrapods than the lungfish are. In the Devonian, a number of sarcopterygian fish modified their fin bones into the arm and leg bones of the first amphibians. But studies of lungfish fins uh, identify the bones thought to be homologous to the bones such as the humerus, radius, and ulna. And that is true of coelacanths as well. The bones of their fins are thought to be homologous to those of the tetrapod limbs. The two modern species of coelacanth are the Indonesian coelacanth and the West Indian Ocean coelacanth, which is critically endangered with extinction. They are large fish, which can reach more than 2 meters in length and weigh more than 90 kilograms. They can require decades, more than 50 years to mature, and can live more than 100 years. Coelacanths are deep water fish whose eyes are specialized for perceiving light at greater depths. And the swim bladder slash lung, coelacanths just have one of these. It is filled with fat for buoyancy in deep water, unlike the lungfish which use their uh, pair of lungs to take oxygen from the air. Coelacanths uh, retain primitive features, such as a continuous notochord and a pair of external nostrils. While there are only two species of coelacanth alive today, more than 90 fossil species are known, some of which reached 5 meters in length. This one here lived off the coast of North America during the Cretaceous period. The fossils can range from the early Devonian, more than 400 million years ago, to the late Cretaceous, and it was thought that coelacanths had become extinct at the end of the Cretaceous until they were rediscovered in 1938. When they were discovered, they were often described as living fossils for this reason.